So today we're gonna learn how to keep small puffer fish with shrimp. And as you guys know, puffer fish are definitely shrimp eaters, uh, but I've learned a way that you can sometimes keep them with shrimp. Uh, keep in mind this does not always work, so don't use it with one of your prized ornamental shrimp, because uh, it might get eaten. This is about, you know, I'd say it work, has worked for me about 70% of the time, uh, but other people have had more or less success. Uh, so just keep that in mind that this is not a surefire thing and that we are dealing with wild animals here. So I have got a couple of fish in quarantine here. I have got a Saddleback Valentini. Uh, really excited for him. I'm going to train him. Uh, his name is Noodles and he is already just a very personable fish. Um, I've got him in this no-no box, not because he's in trouble yet, uh, but because I am getting him used to the feeding schedule. Uh, that is the first thing you want to do uh, before you add the uh, puffer fish to the general population. Um, it's just like sharks at the aquarium. Uh, they feed those sharks so much that they don't eat the other fish in there with them. Uh, it's the same basic principle with the puffer fish. Um, so I, I've got him just used to feeding him every morning and every evening. Uh, so he knows exactly when the food is going to come. You know, he's not going to panic one day and think, Oh no, Nathan's never going to feed me again. I should go eat the shrimp quickly. Uh, he's never going to think that. He's used to the schedule. And now that he's adjusted to it, uh, he won't have a need to go hunt for the shrimp. Uh, so that's the first thing. I've given him time to get used to that uh, before I put him in the tank. Uh, the next thing is I put the shrimp in there first. Uh, this is the shrimp that took a swipe at Bing Bing. And like I said, don't try this with a shrimp you are not prepared to lose. And because he took a swipe at Bing Bing, um, you know, I don't care whether he lives or dies. Uh, this is all just to show you this technique. And um, I'm doing it with a Valentini puffer now. Uh, but I've actually done this with um, a lionfish. Um, I've done this with a couple of trigger fish and a dog face puffer. And it's worked for me uh, almost every time. Uh, did not work with the lionfish. Uh, it eventually did eat the shrimp. But um, lionfish are just unpredictable. But um, yeah, the first thing you want to do is you want to have the shrimp in there first. And a final trick that helps is to put the puffer fish in there while he is small and while the shrimp is big. Um, because I've learned that if a small fish sees a big thing um, while it is little, uh, in that fish's head, it stays bigger than it, even if it outgrows it. So for example, I had a lionfish one time uh, that I had gotten from a friend and he had been keeping it with two clownfish. And the lionfish grew so much faster than the clownfish um, and it could have easily eaten them uh, by the time it was big and the clownfish were still small. But in its mind, uh, the clownfish were still the same size as it, so it wouldn't eat them. Or it had just gotten used to them as tangmates. I, I don't know. Uh, you can play with fish psychology in ways like this all the time um, that are not always 100% reliable, but do sometimes work. Okay, so I just gave him a really big feeding, and I'm going to put him in the tank to see how things go. Go on. You're free now. No, no, no. Don't go. Don't keep going back in the box. Okay, there you go. All right, he's in the tank now, and I'll check back in in a couple of hours to see how he has adapted. Okay, so Noodles has been in there for a while. He's getting settled in, and as you can see, we've not had any problem. Noodles is over there, and the shrimp is right over there. And uh, they did look at each other, but um, that's been it. No trouble. All right, well, thanks for watching, and just one final disclaimer, this does not always work, uh, so please don't send me a bunch of hate mail uh, if you put your puffer fish in there and it does eat the shrimp, uh, because that will sometimes happen. Uh, this technique only works some of the time, uh, so just keep that in mind. Never do this with a shrimp you're not prepared to lose. All right, but thanks again for watching. You've been watching How to Train Your Fish, uh, the most interactive channel on YouTube, and I'll see you next time. Bye.